We're now one week away from the long-awaited total solar eclipse. Next Monday at about 3.04 p.m. our time, you'll be able to see it in the skies above Florida. But as meteorologist Mark Collins shows us, blink and you might miss it. We're a week away from a total eclipse, which will streak across the country from Texas to Maine, starting in Mexico. But for us here in Jacksonville, prepare to be underwhelmed. That's because we're not under totality. We're only going to see a partial eclipse, similar to what we saw in 2017. Do you remember that? Chances are probably you did not A little underwhelming, a total eclipse compared to a partial eclipse, completely different. This was the area that was under totality under this white line. In fact, that during uh, seven years ago, when that total eclipse came over South Carolina, we were actually under 90% blockage of the moon here in Jacksonville. And when did you remember it? Well, chances are you probably didn't because the skies only looked slightly dim. There were some clouds blocking it. And unless you had solar glasses, you couldn't even look at the glaring sun to see the little bit of the bite that the moon took out of the sun. In contrast, this eclipse is even farther away. And so we're only going to see a 60% blockage. So even and less of the moon is going to be blocking the sun. So chances are you really won't even notice much at all in the sky. In fact, a typical thunderstorm brings much more darkness than what we'll see out of this partial eclipse. Now don't get me wrong, total eclipses are completely different. It's almost a spiritual moving event where you see a ring of fire around the sun, even dazzling Bailey beads sparkling on the edge of the sun. And that is the only time where you can look at an eclipse without the solar glasses only during that totality, something that we won't see here in Jacksonville. So get in the car. Maybe it's worth your time to drive out the closest you could get to Fatality would be in Arkansas and then over towards Texas. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins.